You know, training at the lab was, you know, I figured my partners at the pit, you know, I had, we had a lot of guys hurt or just getting done fighting and, you know, who need their own breaks. I figured going down to the lab with Ben Henderson and Efren Escudero uh, had a lot of good wrestlers, a lot of tough guys out there that will be able to push me. T um, great coach and John Crouch. Uh, so I just, you know, I think for this fight it just made the most sense and, you know, probably for the rest of my fights, hopefully. I made one bad fight in my eyes in the UFC where I just didn't take it serious. The very last one, I, my focus was more on being a dad, trying to get home to the baby instead of the gym, not training actually. Um, but the other two losses, you know, they were one a tough fight, another one's a fluke. Um, so, you know, I, I love being in the UFC. I love everything, being a part of that organization, and, you know, I'd love to be back. Me saying that Des Green uh, didn't deserve a title shot was a little misinterpreted. I thought because he knocked out Miguel Torres, who, in my opinion, is past his prime, they were automatically jumping two other guys who went through a tournament to fight for the featherweight title. Um, you know, apparently those guys are both hurt. You know, he's, he's a great opponent. I'm looking forward to fighting him. I don't think he's in my league, but I don't think a lot of people are. I'm a better striker. I am better on the grappling portion. He may be better wrestling to get me to the ground, but he's not gonna be able to do anything on the ground. Um, I have experience. I've, this is my 43rd professional fight. You know, he has maybe a third of that. You know, he's gonna be the one making mistakes and I'll be the one capitalizing on it.